And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! If any director has the ability to take a rather stacked cast and not waste the talents of a single actor in the film, it's Steven Soderbergh. And while no sudden move is certainly no Ocean's Eleven, it's definitely a solid return to the witty film noir crime thriller we've seen from him in the past. Set in Detroit in 1954, No Sudden Move focuses on a group of small-time criminals who are hired to steal a document which might as well have had a giant MacGuffin label across the front of it. When the heist goes wrong, they go on a mission to find out who hired them and why, which takes them down a rabbit hole of backstabbing and through the ranks of race tensions and corruption within the city in that time. Like I said, no players in this ensemble are wasted, everyone has their moment to shine. Even a surprise cameo doesn't rattle or distract from the story because the character fits in perfectly with what was built in the acts before it. Don Cheadle and Benicio Del Toro lead the cast and are both captivating in this and have a few great back and forth scenes together. You also get great performances from David Harbour, John Hamm, Brendan Fraser, Ray Liotta, and Kieran Culkin, and Amy Simons, Julia Fox, and Frankie Shaw are all given fantastic roles that are more layered than they initially appear. Soderbergh definitely has his own style that's almost worthy of his films being their own genre. He's become quite the mastermind of presentation and has a knack for taking windy, complex plots and making them entertaining to follow. No Sudden Move is not the most exciting film you'll ever take in, this could likely become one of those movies that down the road you forgot you watched. But its plot is sharp and ripe with twists and backstabbing that'll keep you on your toes until the credits roll. Cut! That's a wrap!